Hear the bells? Jessica Felder is letting the world know that her last round of chemotherapy is over. Jessica is a survivor. Also among her many other talents are gardening, interior design, and singing. She loves Tennessee. She's a member of the First Baptist Church. She's a mom and a dog mom. She is also incredibly positive and doesn't let the worst things in life define her. Even the worst things one could possibly imagine. And so I went and I actually felt something myself and it just, you know, came back as, you know, I had breast cancer. A terrifying call no one wants to get. But what happens next? What do you do after the call? I think when I look back, I might have cried twice, and that was the day that I was initially diagnosed with breast cancer. And the second time, I can't even remember what it was, but you know, staying positive through the whole thing is your main key, and you've gotta have faith. Um, and I just think those that struggle with situations like cancer or any other battles they may have, just thinking positive and having faith will get you through it. Felder understands that not everyone is the same though. I didn't really go to any support groups. Um, I do believe they are wonderful. I encourage them, especially for those that are struggling. And her misfortune would change shape, like those pictures that change depending on the angle. Um, but I'm very fortunate that I did not feel any type of struggle through this whole thing. I don't regret it, you know, I don't want, I didn't want it, but I do think it made me a stronger person and a better outlook on life. On one side, there's the bad, the cancer. But on the other side, faith grows and blossoms. And just, you know, you just gotta pray. You gotta pray and just say, hey, you know, this is what I'm battling, take it from me, give me the strength just to, to get day from day. Remember how Jessica likes to sing? Well, another beautiful thing came out of her struggle. Jessica wrote and sang her own song while battling breast cancer. Just another thing that saved her from darkness. I'm a karaoke junkie. I mean, if anywhere I go, there's a microphone I'm gonna sing. So, I mean, just one day I was here, you know, and I, singing is my therapy. Um, I mean, I'm definitely not the greatest singer, but, you know, writing the words down to the way I felt, you know, um, and putting it together with this song, it just, I just loved it and I love to share it. He met her at the car door and he hugged her for so long. As scared as I was that day, the fight had just begun. I promise not to give up. I have two handsome sons. I have permanent scars and a lot of gray. It's just something I, and that was my part of my therapy during this whole thing, was just writing my thoughts and making music. Jessica was relatively young when she got her cancer, and getting approved for a mammogram at her age was hard. But she fought, and it saved her. I know they say 40 years old is when you need your mammogram, but I mean, if you feel, your body knows more than anybody, uh, than anyone. So, I mean, if you feel like you need a, a, a mammogram and you have high risk, you know, I would not settle for a no. Know your body, hold on to your faith, and celebrate being alive. In Orangeburg, Christina Thacker, WIS News 10. <laughs> oh, just incredible. Amazing. You know, you wish her the absolute best in her journey. And I tell you what, uh, just, just that spirit of yes. being able to conquer and overcome and kind of face it head on. You know, she said that that song really kind of lifted her. Getting those thoughts on paper sometimes and, and being able to sing it just makes such a difference. Yeah, absolutely. And lifting others.